It's passed. Thank you. I call Dennis O'Rourke. <coughs> Thank you, Mr Speaker. With one, except, with one exception, which relates to the exemption as of right for people over 65 years, New Zealand First supports the bill. And I'd like to deal with part two first, with uh, the provisions relating to the protection of jurors from invasion of their privacy, especially, of course, by accused persons and, and those acting for them. We think that it is high time that uh, provisions of this kind were put into legislation to protect jurors from the release of private inf information relating to them, especially, of course, their address or addresses. We do not think this compromises uh, the right of the accused to challenge for cause or without cause. And where an accused represents themselves, a barrister can be appointed under this new law to handle juror challenges. That all seems to be perfectly sensible to us. These measures assist jurors to maintain their privacy and for that reason may help to wrest the unpopularity of jury service. And as we know, four out of five of every person called for jury ser service seeks to avoid it, which I suppose is not surprising. People lead busy lives and don't wish to spend this magnitude of time on this sort of task. But it is an important public duty and our justice system depends on people doing that duty. So as I said, it is high time we had this bill to ensure information about jurors is restricted as it does to eligible persons. The registrar must not reveal the protected particulars as defined in the bill to um, anyone other than an eligible person, a judge, necessary members of the court staff and so on. And the registrar must take reasonable steps to see that a prohibited person cannot copy the particulars. So without going into a great deal more detail, it's obvious to see that there are some important and really worthwhile provisions in the bill relating to privacy and the protection of jurors from the publication of information concerning them. And as we know, there have been problems from time to time with that over recent years. But I'd like to turn now to part one, <coughs> and part one of course relates to excusals and disqualifications. And New Zealand uh, First does support the new provisions concerning disqualifications, especially the disqualification of a person on home detention for over three months within the last five years, which we think is consistent with disqualification for imprisonment. New Zealand First also supports most of the new provisions relating to excusal, especially those relating to excusal for health reasons. But New Zealand First does not support the new Section 15A2, which grants an exemption as of right on application by a person over 65 years of age. The registrar must excuse such a person as of right. And if you compare that, for example, to Section 15A1, the registrar may excuse at the discretion, therefore, of the registrar uh, for other reasons such as such a state of health. And this doesn't seem to be very sensible to us. In fact, there are four reasons we see why the 65 years provision in section 15A2 should not be there. First of all, a matter of principle, an important one though, which is ageism. And ageism is rife in the community, and this Act will further entrench it. Those people who uh, are trying to get work, for example, after reaching the age of 60, let alone 65, would find that very difficult to do. It's one of those things we in this House should be combating rather than encouraging, and yet this legislation encourages that, it. Now, the argument was recently made by a, re by a speaker just before me uh, that this is only an option. However, if that was correct in principle, then it would be correct at any age and not at the age of 65 only. So um, we're still, the amendment will make it uh, possible to come off the jury list, then go back on it, then off again, on again, and so on. Nor should it do that. It's not very sensible. Uh, people, whether they're 65 or over, or under 65, as I've said, have a duty to perform jury service if they are able to do so. And over 65-year-olds are 
just as often able to do so as those who are, for example, 60 years of age. So the, pro the problem here is that using 65 years only as a reason for exemption is not a substantial, substantive reason. And after all, a person over 65 would still be able to apply for exemption on grounds of ill health under the bill. Under the bill. So secondly, we think it's irrational to single out over 65-year-olds. They are not disabled by that age for, for reasons of mental incapacity or physical incapacity or indeed any other incapacity. In fact, the opposite is the case. A person 65 years of age or over has a wealth of life experience to offer for jury service that makes them actually more valuable rather than less valuable as a juror than younger people. So the retirement age, thirdly, is actually irrelevant. Why pick that age simply because it's the age of eligibility for superannuation? What on earth has that got to do with it? Nothing whatsoever. So they're actually better equipped from the, from the point of view of experience and judgment to be a juror than much younger people are. For all of those reasons, New Zealand First feels that that particular provision should not be in the bill. However, that's not in itself a sufficient reason to vote against it. We're disappointed that that uh, provision has survived to the end. However, we do believe that the other provisions in the bill relating to, excu to excusals and exemptions and relating to the protection of the details and particulars of jurors are very sensitive and well overdue. So for those reasons, uh, New Zealand First will be supporting and voting in favour of the bill. Uh, even though it does contain that rather objectionable provision, which we think is a just relating to 65-year-olds and over. So, Mr Speaker, for that reason, as I said, New Zealand First will support the bill, but we do hope that in, in the course of time uh, people will see that uh, that particular provision relating to 65-year-olds is not correct, and eventually that will be removed and then we would be uh, in favour of the bill as a whole. As it is, however, the bill is sensible and we'll be supporting it. Call Mark Mitchell. Mr Speaker, it's a pleasure to take a call on the jury's jury service protection, particulars jury.